One of the more interesting sets of data that you can explore in ArcMap is census data. In this case, we have census blocks for our study area that we're working on. We want to kind of dig into the data here. Obviously, we can see the census blocks, which isn't very useful. Really, what's useful is inside this attribute table and all the different breakdowns, especially in the P, O, O, and continuing section uh, of this. Now, oftentimes, you're going to need a, uh, a spreadsheet that should come along with this that tells you what each section is and what it actually means for what you're doing. Uh, so in this case, total population, but there's uh, a bunch of different ways to actually break down this data. The one that we're going to start with is just uh, an overall population, and we'll talk about some other ways that we can represent that. Uh, the one that we want to talk about in this case is actually the dot density, which is a pretty powerful way of looking at this uh, just visually. Uh, when you're looking at census data. To do that, we're going to right click on the census blocks, go to properties, we'll come over to symbology. Uh, we usually are looking at single symbol, but we're going to jump down to uh, quantities right here and click on dot density. Now we have to select a field that we want to move over and like I mentioned, we're just going to do total population to begin with. We're going to bring that over, and just do a single symbol for all population. In this case, uh, we can choose the dot size and the dot value. In this case, we, uh, we have a small enough population where our dot value can be one. That means one person equals one dot. And we're gonna change the dot size. Uh, we'll probably go something a little smaller since we're doing so many people. And then we'll just say apply. What we can see is that uh, puts these dots uh, for each individual person. I'm just gonna hit two uh, and then click off that and say apply again. You can see how you can start to change the representation um, of the population. You can see where people are, uh, where people aren't, you know, in some of these more commercial areas right here. Uh, certainly, uh, this is a school track uh, and, uh, of course, across the bayou. Uh, now, the dot density uh, doesn't actually put, um, isn't smart enough, I guess, to put uh, just one dot per house. What it does is it takes these larger blocks and it sort of randomly distributes uh, the dots based on a population, sort of an even distribution. Uh, so in an area like this, these dots don't actually represent specifically where houses are, just that that's sort of the density or uh, how spread out uh, the total population would be. Now, if you wanna dig into uh, breaking this down, not just by total population, but uh, by uh, race or some other uh, variation, what you can do, uh, is begin to just remove this uh, P001 uh, piece, drop it back. We'll go back and choose uh, just a, a quick random collection of, uh, so we'll do two and beyond, and we'll just grab a collection of these. You'd highlight multiple ones, send them over, uh, choose a, a different color uh, based on the, the race that you want that to represent, and uh, we'll keep the dot size at zero and just apply. You can see that it starts to mix together uh, those colors. Uh, so you'd have to be careful and strategic about that using just appropriate colors uh, as you sort of put together these, uh, these dot density maps that show uh, population density across, uh, across our communities.